As you can see, playing here, I can hear someone's microphone. Oh, I got him. You literally don't have to get your fingers in the way of your gameplay. Yeah, yeah. YouTube, welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. This is a Bluetooth telescopic controller for Android only. It's made by Bebon Cool. So if you're on an iPhone, you might not be able to do it. I don't know why a Bluetooth controller wouldn't work. Especially when it says for iPad, iPhone, Samsung, HTC. Um, <laughs> There's different modes here for a gamepad or mouse or whatever else there. So this is just outside the box. And I got this off Amazon. Here's the little manual. Specification for the PlayStation, Drastic Demo, Game Boy Advance, Mega N64, Super Nintendo, all those emulators are gonna be perfect for this controller. So, here it is, let's take it out. Micro USB charging cord. Okay, so it's light. You're not gonna get a heavy thing where you're gonna feel like you're just holding something too heavy. It has rubber on it where it feels comfortable. Like if you got sweaty hands, you're gonna be able to hold on to this a little bit more comfortable. Good weight to it, but it just feels a little hollow. It's like a mixture between both of them. And the buttons, they're fairly squishy. They have a good feedback. You get triggers, bumpers. And my cracked Nexus 6P here will be able to, whoa, that was kind of scary. Pull this pin there. So we have that, does that scoot up? So, so far I have this. Okay, let's see. This should adjust. This little piece doesn't move up and down, so that's kind of stationary. This is how it's gonna, you know, have to stay. You do have a little clamp here that goes back into it, but you could still stretch it out this far without having to clamp. So you can still open it up. So you can fit that huge iPad, I'm sure, on there. Now, if you can see, there is enough space in here for a phone or tablet to have a little lip. And in the back, you see there's a lock that will lock it from having to open it up. Lock it down. Let's try it out. Risky, risky. Slide up and down. So it is gonna go a little bit down. I'd probably flip that out just in case, but it still has a good grip to it. There you go. And let's put your tablet in. Let's stretch it out. Oh yeah, that feels a lot more on there. But now we have this kind of comfort there. That's definitely not gonna go anywhere. And on the left side underneath, there's the micro USB charging port. Nothing on the right side. There's those little LED bulbs right there. And if it's gonna need charge and something more up there. So you got yourself a little nifty gamepad here. Looks good, you can see I'm gonna be shaking it up here. So if you're into gaming with Android, then you have this type of feature controller here. Cause a lot of people like to play right here, you know, you got shooters and you're just using the touch screen controls obviously not the same if you were to be playing this way and you don't have to touch the screen or put your fingers in the way okay so let's pair this by holding down six seconds on the power because i did not know how so i had to read it until it starts blinking a lot faster is what we need to do let's press refresh there we go that's most likely going to be it and now it says gamepad connected i can move things <laughs> As you can see, playing here, I can hear someone's microphone from the game, because you guys can voice chat. Let me capture this flag here. Almost there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where they're shooting me from, so I gotta get a hide real quick. Oh, I got him. I'm gonna play Brit's Brigade here, and some games work automatically right out of the box. Some you have to have the HID game compatibles where, well, you know, you configure the games for it. You literally don't have to get your fingers in the way of your gameplay. Oh yeah. Love this game here. You don't have to have your phone or tablet on the controller, so maybe you were using Android TV and you wanna use it like this without the controls there. So if that was easier for you, you can step it out and play that way. <laughs> hey. 
and obviously here I can still control and I'm gonna get incoming call. If you want to pause on this page, you will see that it shows you 50 games that are compatible right out of the box. So you don't have to configure anything. Let's go to Super Retro Nintendo. So if you wanted to play Nintendo emulator ROMs here, you know, you have to play with these little controls there, right? So I don't want to be touching the control here. What I'm gonna do, turn off the touch controls, go back. Yeah, yeah. If you don't like the controls, you can change them inside of the emulator ROM that you're using at that time. Whoops. I think a lot of kids are going to enjoy playing this gamepad. It reminds me of a Wii U, except you were playing off your phone or your tablet or your iPad. Whoops. So it would do a great gift. Christmas present. This is just straight up out of the box. No configuration. Of course, you can configure the stuff to make it work with other things but it's all up to you there's also a couple different modes where you can change it into a media if you're gonna be browsing the internet you got your cursor there you click what mode again you go back to the media controller you got your you know select the button so if you touch things if you want to grab that's a really cool feature there you got three different modes you go back into it so it's a little slow on the cursor side but at least it works. I like it. I, I can't complain about it for the price. It's like, what, under 40 bucks? Work with all my devices. I don't know why on the front it says for Android only. It says for iPad, iPhone, so. So if you want one for yourself, this is what you need to do. Click on this little tab there. And there's I, I just can't believe there's so many people who don't know about the description when I say click in the description down below It's always right here and it's gonna show you all the links and games and apps and everything that I'm referring to will always be in the description Those of you guys who don't know go back in my old videos and click on this little tab So if you click on any of the links, it'll take you right to the Google Play Store on the browsers right below the like button there I'll show you guys better in a different video but that's just a quick way of showing you guys that in the description, click on the link so you get the right one. Plus, I finally got my Amazon Affiliates program where if anyone buys from my link, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It just gives me the ability to track people clicking on the links. Amazon also gives me a little bit of commission for referring some sales. So if you guys want to help me out that way, it doesn't cost you anything extra. And as always, thank you for joining, and I will see you guys next time. Later.